had said we would start a new project today on live, but um, as you can see, uh, we have a new addition to the PTR. We are able to test the new um, world in-game holiday event uh, for Shades Eve. Um, it's Wildstar's take on uh, the Halloween holiday. Um, it's supposed to be uh, not like your average um, in-game take on it. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to look too much into it. I've done a few things. Um, you can see I've made a new friend here. This is one of the new pets, uh, the Shadeling. Um, he just kind of stands there strangely. Um, every now and then he'll do an animation that kind of reminds me of the Chua one. But um, you can see here it gives a little summary. This automatically pops up when you first log in when the event is go going on. And uh, it just gives you kind of a rundown of uh, what the event is about. And then it uh, gives you your progress saying, you know, uh, where to go and uh, for the actual public event, um, the progress on it. There's also a, an amount down here that shows your, your Shades Eve Silver. I got four at the moment. Because um, I have spent a few things. Um, so what we're going to do today is... Um, we're just going to kind of run through uh, Thade a little bit to kind of ooh and awe about um, a lot of the holiday decorations that they have up because um, it has definitely changed quite a bit. Um, we won't be doing any of the quests and things, but uh, I'll be showing, you know, the whole little uh, Jindig hollow area that's in Thade. That's the name of the, uh, the quest hub. Um, according to what I've read, uh, there's dailies there and they um, change from day to day. So you don't do the same stuff over and over, um, or at least not consecutively. Uh, there is an instance, um, and of course there's lots of decor. Um, there's a vendor there that we will be uh, kind of previewing in the little window. It won't actually, I don't have enough uh, silver to buy any of the extra stuff. I did buy a fab kit that we'll be taking a look at later, but um, we're just going to kind of ooh and awe about it and uh, daydream about what's to come and uh, some of the things that we might can do with the new decor. But uh, this is uh, a, a good opportunity to kind of check it out and uh, be looking forward to it come uh, this Halloween. So let's just uh, hop on over. I think I left off at the housing place, so you'll immediately see there's a lot of changes. Now I did have um, the PTR crash on me once, so uh, if it does happen again, you know, we'll just kind of close that up. So right away you can see there's some interesting changes um, to the zone. Got decorations, and you know that's to be expected. Uh, you, you want your players, no matter where they log in, uh, to kind of know something special is going on. So you've got all these nifty lamp posts and garlands of spooky lights, lots of pumpkins, lots of candles. Lots of gravestones. These are like all over the place. But interesting <laughs> addition. Cobwebs, of course, thrown everywhere. Some of them not ideally placed. It looks a little uncomfortable for Mr. Robot there, but I like the the different. Uh, faces and stuff that they put on them. Some kind of strange effigy with wild Medusa hair. But as I said, you can see that there's uh, a lot of uh, extra decoration Not everything will be uh, getting as far as now, um, as far, you know, as 
new decor. There are some pieces that we'll be getting. Um, now, Shindig Hollow is um, down here in the lower part of the Arborean Gardens. So that's where I'm headed. I'm just kind of going through. Here's a sinister effigy as part of one of the dailies. We go around burning those. But it's not just in Shindig um, Hollow that you do some of the questing. Uh, there's different areas in Fade that I was uh, directed to. Um, there's even, uh, from what I understand, there's uh, candy bowls that you will be able to um, loot from uh, your neighbors in housing. I went uh, to check and see if anybody had actually had those. I don't know if it's an actual item that you have to set out. Or, uh, I didn't see any kind of like I was expecting maybe something right at the teleporter where you could when you automatically zone into someone's housing pot it's right there but that doesn't seem to be the case so I'm not sure exactly um, how that works yet um, but if I, if I do figure it out uh, either now or later um, we'll definitely have a look at that but uh, this is uh, Shindig Hollow it's um, a nice interesting little area there's several quest givers. This is where the new um, instance can be accessed. Um, I forget the name of it offhand, but you get the quest and you go in and you do it. It's apparently a scalable, um, kind of like a, sh uh, well, I was going to say ship hand, but they're called expeditions now. Um, it's like a scalable expedition, but the difference is um, anyone from level 10 to 50 can go in and they will be uh, scaled up down to level 50. Uh, so if you're a level 20 player, you'll be scaled up to level 50. This way, um, even leveling players can participate. Um, so it's not restricted to just um, level cap players. Uh, from what I've heard or read, I should say, uh, it's pretty challenging. I haven't gone in and taken a look. I'm a little nervous to do that. Plus, I don't want to spoil everything uh, specifically. The housing, I don't mind taking a look at because it gives me time to kind of plan, okay, I'd like to have this. So I want to be sure and save up X amount of um, chain seed silver for that, that kind of thing. But as far as uh, like the, the dungeon, I think I will probably leave that for later when it's live um, but you can see they've really gone all out um, decorating up this little area there's uh, lots of little uh, lore books that you'll get to pick up and read um, I didn't really like look I picked them up but I didn't actually read it because I, I like doing that later at my, my, my leisure but um, this will be where you go to pick up all your uh, special in-game event dailies and uh, I would assume as well it probably changes as to who gives them out but maybe not maybe they just give out different ones. so the vendor is over here he's called uh, Peddler Cal and he's got um, a variety of things I guarantee it. including treats Reckon I got just costumes, what you need. which I could take a look at but that's really not purpose here. Of course decor and then the pets the toys. And the pet you've already seen. Little green blobby thing standing beside me. But as far as the decor goes, uh, they did uh, mention that the prices that you see here, like this one for 10 shades silver and so on, they could uh, change by the time this hits live. So don't uh, Take all of these with a grain of salt, because um, as it progresses, maybe they see how quickly someone can grind up X amount of uh, shades of silver, then they go, well, maybe this is too easy to get, or isn't uh, easy enough, depending on, I guess, the, the uh, rarity of the item and all that kind of thing. So just kind of, this is just a guesstimate right now. It's not a set in stone, but... Here's a peek at uh, some of the new stuff that I think people will really enjoy. This is one of the new trees, the Screaming Hollow Tree. Pretty creepy. I know there's at least a couple of folks that have like haunted uh, plots. They will be 
ecstatic to see a lot of these new additions. Um, and even those that don't have that kind of thing, um, this will probably inspire them to um, set out on making something. But uh, who know what, who knows what people will use this for other than just this kind of thing. Then you have the haunted hollow tree, another creepy looking. It reminds me of um, the boogeyman. Just like a, an old top of a stump kind of thing. Then you got Jack Shade's favorite wreath. And you saw these hanging up in, in the city already over some of the entrances and pathways. Kind of like a, a sort of weird little skull thing. Here's glowy tubes. It's a strange little thing. Then you got the effigy Aladdin wagon. Um, the effigy is like little sand dolls. And you can see the smiley faces and stuff and they're piled in with some hay. And it's a wagon. Um, I don't know if there's currently uh, any chance of uh, Shades Eve decor other than what's purchasable being dropped. Uh, I would assume there's some from, for instance, the new dungeon that there's you know, that there is. Um, I will keep an eye out for that, and if someone has them added to their plot, I will be sure and go check them out. But I imagine if there's some little effigy piles or, or little miniature, you know, mini standalone dolls, you could make your own uh, trailer. But uh, there you go for that one. Then we have the Dark Rastower statue. Everybody's favorite animal. Just a little goat. Then we have uh, Jack Shade's favorite lamppost. Now, I can't zoom in really good with this because the closer I get, the more it just shows the, the base instead of the head. You can kind of see it's a skull with some, looks like wing, raven wings or something atop a yellow bit. And I think we've seen those, uh, they're uh, spotted throughout the city as well. Then you have the chuckling pumpkin lantern, which we saw these uh, right when we zoned in to the housing initiative area. They've got a nice a uh, little glowy effect. Very goofy smile on there. <laughs> then we have this really nice gothic gate. I imagine it's uh, interactive, much like our other gates. It's got two rouse towers on either side here. The lanterns. Um, it kind of looks like some eyes with a mouth here. Uh, can't really make out the full design on, on the gate itself, but it basically looks like the kind of gates that we have already, uh, just expanded and maybe a little bit more jagged, jaggedy, spikiness. But definitely these uh, pedestals resemble the ones we currently have in the game, but I don't think they have the little lights on them. So this should blend really well if you get the gate and you'll be able to use together for the rest. And then we've got the poison spore tree, which this too is a, an item I've seen uh, in various places in the, in the city. Nice and shiny when you get up close, it's got like a lot of reflection. So yeah. Probably good for aquarium setups as well. It could, has that kind of, you know, corally colors and stuff. Then we have the poison shrub, uh, spore shrub. It too looks very friendly for aquarium setups. Anyone that's got some ponds or something that they've set up themselves, these would be a good addition.
Then we have uh, Jack Shade Effigy. Again, I can't uh, zoom in really good. Because uh, just how they've got it set up, but you can see he's got like spike uh, waistband or something. Creepy head, got that funny witch's hat. Strange glowy vines. I really zoom out to see the whole thing. I, I wouldn't doubt he's got a couple of those um, sprung around town as well. Then you got Jack Shade's head. And that's as far as I can zoom in. So you can see it's kind of like a, not really a skull shape. It doesn't have that definition. It looks more like a filled little white sandbag um, with glowy eyes and a creepy smile on it. Then we've got the bone altar. Nice and got the wax melting off of there. And a lot of a uh, lot of creepy skulls. And then we got the shade trap, which basically looks like the um, the magnetized container that we have. But this has got a glowy green. So I guess they're kind of going off of maybe like the Ghostbusters having a, a creepy vector trap kind of thing going. Then we've got um, Shades Eve mask, the blonde, the Medusa hair. So it's just a mummy mask looking thing on a stick. Then you have the same thing but the top hat version. Oops, don't let me zoom in. It's kind of hard to see, but that little weird little witchy top hat thingy, and then the nice well, on a stake. Then you have the spooky green window. I don't know if it's got uh, any kind of like visual like the haunted windows do, but you can see it's got some animation going on. Give that creepy vibe to it. Unfortunate that it's got these bars on it because I imagine some would love to use that as some green um, swamp water and stuff like that. But uh, maybe if you enlarge it really big, focus in on where, I don't know. If I end up getting enough uh, later to buy uh, a number of these items, if we don't happen across a home that's already got them, I will purchase what I can and, and see if we can uh, display them at the house itself. So that's a sneak peek at some of the furniture that we'll be getting. Um, pretty interesting stuff. Um, maybe not as many as I would love. Um, I would have preferred uh, some also some basic stuff like some of these newer pumpkin things because I know a lot of people are going to want to be able to decorate their homes for the holidays. So. Like I said, though, that may be just what's purchasable. There may be other things that we get um, from the drops, from specifically from the dungeon. Uh, I haven't heard any uh, word. Uh, interestingly, the uh, Twitter verse and everything has been relatively quiet about what's um, out there, uh, what's available, what people get from it. Uh, maybe there's a special costume pieces or something. Um, I, I guess I could. Kind of do a sneak peek of those. I got just what you need. I'm just for those you want interested. Quality? I guarantee it. Wow, how goofy does that look? That's the, the Jack Shades topper. The jackets. The pants. Bracers. Boots. And the very out there shelter piece. You can change your hairdo, how's that? <laughs> That's just 
That's just weird. <laughs> very, uh, very interesting. Um, there's the chest rat. I guess if you want to go zombie style. And light wraps to go with it. Anyway, um, so that now that we've uh, checked out some of the new decor, we're going to hop on over to... Wow, that's just kind of... Whoa, 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 whoa. We get out. Uh, we'll check out the web kit. Now, the fab kit is called uh, Shades of Pyre. And uh, I think it costs, at the moment, uh, 50 Shades Eve Silver. And that's what it looks like. I just kind of plopped it right down in the middle of my self park here. And it's my worst nightmare because it appears to be a jumping puzzle and I, I'm really horrible at it. So I don't think I'll be uh Challenge begins. There we go. I'm like super slow at this because I can't see what <laughs> I'm already stuck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> be lucky if I complete this. Thankfully some of the jumps aren't too bad. Don't judge it by its by my um, abilities here because I'm sure somebody that's better at jumping will have a much easier time at this. Almost out of time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Challenge complete. What is that thing? I guess it was a little shade lane. I don't know if I even <laughs> it didn't give me anything. Uh, oops. Maybe I didn't do it. Oh, fast enough. Wow. So that's uh, <laughs> that's the shade spire. So um, if anyone's on uh, the PTR and doesn't want to spend the money for it, uh, feel free to drop by my plot. Um, carrot blue leaf, uh, green leaf and live blue leaf on PTR. The pretty pretty out there kind of uh, feel. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be folks that'll find ways to use that um, for their, you know, uh, a lot of problems with some kinds of uh, holiday decor and holiday um, items like this is you feel like they're only good for the holiday. You can't use them at any other time. And when folks can find ways to incorporate that into just their everyday bill, that's uh, the fun part. So, uh, I'm not going to try that again. Let's see. I don't know if it gave me anything. Let me see. I don't even know where that is. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> on, the, on live, it's all just... Um, here we go. I don't think it, it's 
says anything. I don't know. If I figure it out later, I'll, I'll show you. But... Oh, when I did uh, get uh, a housing decor bag um, from one of my daily logins uh, a little while back, and I forgot to open it, I have no idea what kind of stuff comes out of this thing. If it's one item, a bunch of items, you know, if it's just, you know, stuff that you can buy, uh, like a wooden table or something. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open it here. So yeah, it's just a combination of some of your everyday average stuff. I got the early warning system, mounted Draken Beast head, the old window. Nothing super rare, but I guess there's a possibility, I don't know. Maybe as you progress and get the better bags from the daily rewards, um, your chances of rare items will maybe. Uh, while we're here, though, um, even though I did say this was going to be more about shade saving stuff, um, since it doesn't seem like anybody's really around and asking specific questions, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, also try and drop by uh, Simon Says' place. Uh, I saw this one this morning when I was looking around for the housing uh, candy bowls and Hopefully it lets me go there. And I stumbled across this nice little little build. It says it's under construction, so it's likely there's bits, you know, maybe not really finished. I don't know if he's, you know, looking for anybody to be visiting, but I couldn't help it. I saw this and I thought, wow, that's pretty outstanding. So you can see he's really kind of decorated with the, the class, making special designs and such. Let's hop on the map. We can make it faster. And I do have to say, I miss the old sprint because I keep wanting to hit um, the key for that and annoying when it doesn't do anything. Anyway, lots of fillers here. Um, I don't know if he's, you know, played around with the expanded decor limits or what, but he's done a lot. He really nice. <laughs> it's an interesting combination of items. You have like little little balconies. Oops, really cute. And this here, I'm, I'm probably going to use that for um, uh, for a build that I'll be working on. <clears throat> anyway, strange little thing going on here. All hail the lock, I guess. This is a, a really good use of these hover part pieces to, in, you know, in place of stairs. I've seen a lot of people do that, and it really does um, work out nicely. Um, in the build that I'll be um, showcasing later, uh, I've already started using uh, similar bits because it's just a time saver as far as not having to do individual stairs. It's more like a, just a ramp. Um, it's really gone all out with using the hover part pieces to, you know, construct this lovely architecture. some people asking for candy bowls. So I may have to go check it out. I'll write the name of the person down that says that they have one. And we'll go see about it. Oops. Got my pen there. I 
again, just a really, it looks elegant, even though it's cover part pieces, you know? Even with the little hazard marks, you really don't notice that too much. It's not um, overly, you know, bright and, and things. Nice way to do the stairs. Of course, that's a lot of pieces as well. Um, but yeah, you can see he's, he's still working on uh, adding in a lot of things. But it reminds me of like a, a church with those arches and everything. Excuse me. The bar area. I like the way he does these arches here as well. Not quite centered, um, but still uh, the nice shape. For those looking, you know, that don't want to use the like uh, the fancy bar and things like that. Let's see if we can visit a couple of these. If it doesn't work out, then um, oh, he's got his to private. I'm nervous about hopping from house to house because that's how I crashed earlier. Like they've got it all decked out for Halloween. Ah, here's a, a candy pile. Candy bowl. So there's actually um, uh, a Shades Eve quest where you want to go visit your neighbors. And I like that they've included housing um, as part of one of the activities. So. There you go. Custom stuff. And this is just an example, a sample of how someone's probably going to approach their holiday a bit um, using a lot of yellows and oranges and things. Asking where you get the candy bowl. Apparently, I missed it from the vendor, so I'll have to have a, have a look. So let's go take a look and see if we can do that. So let's see. Ender that I know of is over here. You want quality? I guarantee it. Reckon I got just what you need. Not really sure. Anyway, um, oops, I'm getting a little laggy here. I'll wait till they reply. I don't miss. Ah, they say it's from the housing vendor. So, you try going back inside. I think, yeah, on cooldown. We'll just head back over to the housing thing.
Almost looks like a different place with all this decoration. Not in Kansas anymore. That's a big pumpkin. Okay. So uh, Gwen says it's on the housing vendor. You can get the candy bowl. My prices are so preposterously low. Mine of the merchandise. A bar is covered up, so let me. For whatever reason, there's a graphic bug that's got it covered up. So apparently, there's different colors. Um, and Gwen said that no matter if you have all of them, uh, I guess they behave as one, or the person that comes to visit, they can't loot all of them. They can only loot one per house. So, let's see. Bronze. And orange. Let's just go with the traditional orange. There we go. Got a little... weird candy thing on there. Now I don't know if maybe after the event if these uh, are still available for use in the house if that little symbol above it goes bye-bye um, so that you don't have to worry about it having that little satchel bag on the top. But uh, I guess that will be you know remain to be seen. So yeah, I guess I guess we could put some kind of a really awkward to do this in my buttons. Just gonna make a little a little spot for folks. To Nothing super fancy. Now, um, not too long ago, um, I did a little kind of like a decor workshop for those that were interested in deciding um, how they might want to add little decorations to their home uh, without doing a completely you know full rebuild you know if you just have a personal general residence um, maybe you just want to add you know touches like for Christmas you would add like a Christmas tree with some packages underneath um, others would get it like, even fancier and having little Reese and, and things like that, but I did one recently for um, fall, and we'll probably be doing another one for um, when Shady gets a little closer. Notice, uh, while I have my edit toggle thing on, uh, the interactive bits or like the mailbox and such is off. Um, they've just dis decided to uh, do as we've been asking for a while and disabling the interactiveness so that, you know, in theory, when you go to move a, a chair or a couch or something, um, while you were in edit mode, you'd click it to move it and you want to sit on it. And I think that's now been disabled on the PTR. Which is good news because uh, 
I was very annoying. Let's see, do we have any candles? Look like the vendor then just kind of spruce this up a bit. How does that look? That looks like way too many <laughs> candles. There's my little <laughs> trick-or-treat pile. That way, if I have any visitors, they can come and candy and finish their little quest. Anyway, when I toggle it back on, uh, back off, I just then the interactiveness of that is back. And I don't know if I can loot my own. Let me see. No. It has to be a neighbor. Neighbor's house. You can go see if anybody has. I, I kind of doubt uh, a lot of people do because I think they just introduced this um, yesterday evening. So. Probably still a lot of people that just haven't discovered it yet. Twenty-five percent. Um, I think Desmus probably has some, but I don't know. See if Lucy's got any. Again, it makes me nervous because when it lags like this, I'm thinking, okay, it's going to crash on me. Which is very possible, and if it does, I'll, I'll back in. No, nothing here. Let's see. Looking for names I recognize. Aren't always showing up in the list. One thing, probably once uh, the event goes live, you'll want to make a note of who has pumpkin balls so that you can be sure and visit them. I don't know if it's a daily thing. Maybe it's a once, one-time thing. I, I don't know. Every time I try to look at the. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So I don't know if it's a, one of the dailies. Could be. So it might be something that you would do every day and then a good way of getting people out and about though, which I've been trying to do anyway. Um, not a lot of folks like using these. Um, I, I imagine guilds will probably set up little pumpkin uh, circles where they can you know, get everybody that has a pumpkin 
readily available there. Fifty percent so far. See who else we can find. I see if one of the other Lucy. Nope. See if I can target this use. I'm pretty sure he's got one. I don't know which plot because a lot of people will um Goodness, got all of them up. Um, a lot of them will copy their. That's no, not letting me interact with any of those. But here you can see some of the new stuff. He's already got a bunch of it out. That you. Looks to be a string of lights with skulls. I imagine that's probably from a drop because I don't think that was on the vendor. The light post. The tea wagon. Want the spooky cheese? I really like this one. This one's really creepy. It looks like he's in pain. Look at the little curly cube for his head. And then the wreath. And then the little pumpkin lantern. I'm surprised this isn't glowing more because the ones in the in the city are actually glowing and they have a nice uh, effect. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that's carried over the line. Look, my shaling's enjoying the lantern there. Ah, uh, yeah, and he has the uh, the shade spire as well. Well, wow, none of these will let me click them. How oh, rude is that? Let's see if anyone else has got one. Wow, that's a big one. Look, that one's got like a heart over it. I know it says something about having eight different pieces of candy and you can only loot one from each one, but I don't know. Bubblegum Treehouse. Some of the names makes you wonder. Again, if you're using the uh, the massive umbrella tree, it does kind of look a little weird when you first set it. You have to kind of hop to get above it. I guess that's supposed to be the way you go in for lockdown. Lots of bacon. That up. Is that a new thing? Yep, here's some some of the decorations as well. Got the scarecrow thingy. Got some creepy long fingers. Look at those. Can't seem to click on that one either, so I guess I've already gotten that one. That makes it even more challenging if you've got to find certain ones. Nope, oh, here's a new one. This one looks like uh, torches. 
Excuse me. We happen across a home that I'm just interested in seeing what it looks like. We'll, we'll stop and take a look. But... Largle Rargle. Maybe he's a murloc. No. Here's the new one, a broken bone. Eighty seven percent. No, don't see anything here. Those are mine. Stained glass tree house. Sounds interesting. There's one with a skull above it. That's different. We are complete. That's pretty um, bold there. What's that? That's a new bit in here. <laughs> really lights up too. Oh, uh, that reminds me. Uh, there is the Shades of Sky that you can get off of the vendor as well. I can just pop back to my own place. We'll preview it. I'm not going to buy it or anything, but uh, at least check it out. Yeah, I'm going to enlarge the bit. Looks a little better. Okay, uh, as for the, where is it? Yeah, this guy. Got a nice pumpkin face there. Nice orange, reddish, burny look. Goes well with the pyre back there, that's right. That's kind of kind of a creepy thing, the, the face in the moon. Okay, close to the edge, the wall lights up. But there you go. I guess that's Jack Shade or something. Um, since they did have uh. The one thing on here, I wonder if there's any other new stuff. Mm -hmm. Can I just take a quick look at some of the things, maybe? Yeah, just an empty hayride wagon. That's handy if you don't want the effigies in there, that's nice. Uh, no. The banners. Bathroom beds. No. Books. Doesn't look like it. Curves, cylinders, domes, doors. Rivers. Waterfalls. 
No, it doesn't look like anything there. Bushes. No. Cabinets. Containers is mostly just the candy balls. Which we saw those. I like that they come in different colors. Better suit whatever theme you have going on. So just the candy bills and the cart so far, or the wagon. Doors. Electronics. And same. Yeah, there's a gothic pillar. I'm not sure if that's been around or not. I don't think so. Doesn't ring a bell anyway. And gothic fence wall. There you go. So I don't know if those have been around before. Yeah, because I think I'm thinking of this, the rusted iron fence. We have that and then the post as well, but so that's a couple of new things, Gothic pillar and Gothic fence wall. These will go with the um, the gate that you can get from the Shade Z vendor. So be sure and get that if you want all of it. Let's see what else. Please. Food. Messes. Lighting and lighting. Drooping skull lights. Okay, so that's where they got the lights. It's just, um, not uh, hanging like you would expect. There you go. Something like that. Okay, I'll call the big rope again. Uh, uh, large uh, skull string lights. We have the big ones. Uh, Shades Eve string light posts. Pop that out. And there's the spiky lamp post. Well, and then the tri skull hanging. The little different shape. Let's put that one on the side. So, varying kinds of loops if you've got certain. Uh, doorways that require a wider uh, loop, garland or whatever, then option. I'm 
it doesn't. Not perfect. Anyway, here's the whole one. Let's um, let's set this up like this. At all cred. I highlight like I want. There you go. So it looks like it's meant to be that way. Link that with. There you go. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Vendor, vendor, vendor. Lots of nice lighting stuffs. Now, I assume that that means um, for after the holidays over, those particular ones might go bye bye. I don't know. Pillows. Anything new there? No. Plants. Mm, don't see anything there. No. No. See anything there either? No, I saw that too. Tables. No, don't see anything. So Aside from the pumpkin thing, I think the other thing was the wagon. The hayride wagon. That looks better. Oh. You could like fill that with pumpkins or actual hay or hay and pumpkins. Don't want to put no candles on that though if you've got the hay. That might not be so good, but there's some of the new stuffs. Ooh and awe over. that over here.
really I'm just kind of um, trying to waste some time so I don't have to go outside and work on some yard stuff. I really should be doing. I have been neglecting that considerably. Let's see, maybe on the front. Oh, that's like way off. That's a little better. Interesting stuff. Uh, I imagine some folks will probably try and use um, this light, a string of lights, in a way that they can just be showcases. This would be good for like a lab, looking like some different little files and stuff. But there you go. That's a sneak peek at uh, some of the new Shades Eve content. Um, if you're wanting to check it out to get a little more in depth, like as far as the new dungeon that's available, um, or I should say expedition, uh, uh, any of the dailies that you know you might uh, get to do, uh, that would be something you can do on your own. Uh, by going into the PTR. I'm sure there will be other people that will be showcasing those things specifically, but I'd like to leave some of that as a surprise for myself later. I don't like spoiling it all. Um, but I definitely wanted to take a, 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 an early peek at some of the housing decor that would be available. Like I said, it's, it's helpful to um, kind of know what's coming so that you can plan ahead as to what you want to buy or not buy, um, that kind of thing. Because a lot of times, you know, like any other kind of uh, holiday event, this is a limited time thing. I don't know how long it's going to be running on live. If it's just going to be for a week, a couple weeks, the entire month, I don't know. But um, with limited time, you know, you're going to want to collect in as much of the um, event coin as you can so that you can spend to buy what you want. This is a good way to kind of check it out and say, okay, Definitely don't want this because it's kind of ugly and I can't use it for anything other than Shadesy. But for things like this, like the, the cart, the wagon thing, you definitely want to pick a couple of those up um, when it's available. Um, the fencing, uh, like the gate and stuff, definitely. Uh, maybe even some of the pumpkin bowls because if uh, it does, like I suspect, like it's doing here, where it doesn't have a little icon above it. Uh, once the quest is done, um, these would be handy to just kind of sink into something, some other container, and have those little candy bits showing. You know, like if you're wanting special food pots and things like that, that would be a good, uh, a good thing to have on hand. So. Anyway, um, I think that's going to be it for today. I know it's a short show, and uh, I apologize for that, but I do have a, a lot of other things to do outside of this. So, um, And I do apologize again, because we were supposed to start on a new project uh, this week. Um, I've already kind of tentatively started playing around with some of the ideas that I had for it, um, and we'll get to talking about that next week. Um, unless something else comes up, unless they release some other new little batch of goodies, um, we should be starting on that Monday. Now, as I mentioned, um, usually when I'm trying to do these projects, I, I stream everything. But because I'm doing this for somebody else, um, I don't want them being forced to wait for me to, you know, do a little bit of decorating like one or two hours a day. So I'm going to be probably working on this through the weekend as well um, and any of my off times that I have a chance to, to play around in it. But I will go through and uh, describe and explain what I did, some of the problems I may have encountered, um, uh, and of course, go over all of the items that I've used. 
that. Um, and if like certain things are covered up and you can't see, I'll move it aside so that you can see um, like the, the skeleton of it or whatever. But um, I'm going to try and keep it to a lot of the off time stuff being, you know, like uh, some of the basic boring stuff, just like the, the wall structures and the general um, layout of the rooms and setting up walls and things like that. A lot of the little special details that we'll add later, I will try to make a point to put those, uh, keep those for just the live stream shows. But like I said, I'm building it for somebody else and I don't want them to be forced to wait many months because if I string it out for like an hour to a day, uh, only on the weekdays, that could go forever because this is a full plot build that um, I've been asked to work on. So. Um, I don't want to string it out that long. But um, yeah, if you're interested in watching um, someone work on a, a plot, um, if you're not quite sure uh, how one would go about starting a project like that and that kind of thing, be sure to join me. Um, I'm usually on in the mornings, but uh, if you really want to be sure and catch me online, just follow my channel and uh, it should alert you when I next go live. Uh, we will still be continuing to do the uh, Wednesday house tours. Um, and I probably will again revisit the PTR um, off and on, depending on when they introduce new things. If I find some homes with some of the decor that's uh, purchasable that I don't have money for, then I will uh, go and visit their places as well. Um, final reminder, because uh, we are coming down to the last few days. Well, probably not the final reminder. I'll probably keep jabbering about it all through the next week. But next Friday is the deadline um, for Geeks of Nexus housing competition on Javit EU. Um, whether you're exiles or Dominion, you're eligible. Um, if you have multiple homes, those are eligible. It's not limited to one plot per person or anything like that. Um, but it is coming down to the last few days. Next Friday or this Friday coming up is the, the final uh, day to submit to your home for entry. Um, after that, uh, submissions will be closed and the judges will spend probably a few weeks um, going through uh, all of the plots. Last I checked, they had like 20 plus uh, entries so far, most of them on exile side. So if you're Dominion, definitely you know get yourself in there because you have a, a better chance, um, less competition going on on that side. But um, uh, there's lots of plat for grabs. Uh, they've got several categories, so it's not just one winner takes all. It's um, they got a variety of things like uh, best overall, um, uh, most unique theme, best for exiles, best for Dominion, that kind of thing. Um, I believe their uh, Geeks of Nexus uh, live podcast to announce the winners is on September 20th. Um, so yeah, if, if you've got a home and you think uh, if, you know put in your blood, sweat, and tears in it, you want some recognition for it. Um, even if you don't win, it's a good um, way to get people to come and visit. Uh, be sure and enter your plot or plots. Um, let's see what else. If uh, you want to get on the PTR um, and you haven't gotten your key yet, or more specifically, you haven't applied for your beta key yet. Uh, be sure and check out the link on my Twitch channel page. Right there at the top of the resources section, there is a link to their news article um, where Carbine describes what it's all about. They provide links to not only the PTR forums, but the PTR FAQ and the link to where you can sign up um, for the closed beta. Uh, currently, I think we're in what they call phase one, where um, we're doing a lot of testing for like uh, the cash shop and uh, the Shades Eve event, um, a lot of the new changes with the, uh, the gear and the rune system and, and stuff like that. Uh, eventually we'll be going into phase two where they will be doing some actual um, real money exchange, um, testing out the actual shop on, on the site and everything. Um, so that whatever money you spend in for real um, not only translates to uh, in coin down the road when it goes live, 
but it's also going to be um, PTR endpoints. So um, if you already know that you're planning on spending some, some money for the endcoin uh, later on, uh, now would be a time to um, help them test that system, make sure all of the, the kinks are worked out of it. Uh, let's see. Um, like I said, I do have a new project that I will probably be starting. Well, I'm started it already, but I will start streaming about it uh, come Monday. Um, it's part of a new kind of uh, experiment with my guild. I've opened the offer up that I will um, build some things for my guildmates if um, they either lack the inspiration for it or they don't have the time to complete it or maybe they just want to see what I can make for them. I don't know. Um, and I've already got several interested parties. Uh, last week we did, um, or I guess earlier this week, we did uh, the public restroom for Dinah's, uh, the red herring plot um, for his bar. Uh, Monday, we'll be working on some of Sovain's uh, build. Um, his is going to be kind of Oren theme slash scientist kind of thing. Um, We'll get more into that later because his isn't like a really super specific, but there's like a lot of details he wants specifically included, um, if that makes sense. Um, I've already got one that's talking about once the, the free to play hits uh, live that we'll be talking about a project for them. Um, another one is uh, looking to get a hold of me pretty soon uh, about a project for them. So I've got a lot of little things going on, and I will probably be jumping around depending on the size and scope of each one. For instance, Thovane's project is a full build, both interior and exterior, uh, for the bunker house and such. Uh, so while I'm trying to uh, work on his, if a, a smaller project comes in that I think I can do in a couple of days, I'll probably hop over to that one and work on that and get it done and then go back to Thovane. But uh, it's uh, an interesting thing. I'm uh, delighted that a lot of people are going to be taking me up on the offer, but it is going to mean uh, we're going to have probably a number of things going on at the same time. Um, hopefully, I can keep everything organized. I'm going to have to set up a bulletin board with all of the little projects that I've got going on, so I don't forget anything. Um, but that will be uh, become a regular thing while I'll be doing projects for um, guild makes on the side. Um, we're still going to continue to do the CBDC. Um, the only reason we're not doing one uh, this next month for September is because the August one was um, uh, not delayed but extended. Um, the deadline for it was extended to the end of September. Uh, because of the Geeks of Nexus housing competition. We have a lot of guildmates that have been preparing their homes um, for that uh, particular event, and it kind of detracted from the time they would have preferred to spend on um, building a swimming pool for August's CBDC. So I've extended the deadline for it, so the August CBDC will actually be previewed and showcased at the end of September. Um, but it's probably okay since I have other things that I can be working on. So it's not going to be like, uh, we're going to be lacking anything. But um, as those start kicking again, kicking in again, we'll be working on that as well. Uh, I think that's it then. I think I covered it all. So I'm, I'm going to have to like start like, really writing out a little Thing that I can kind of follow along better. I have notes, but they're like scattered everywhere. I have to get a little better organized. Um, I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek. Um, again, we'll probably revisit it again uh, later uh, for those that have missed it um, and would like to see any other the, of the new things that um, we can kind of check out. But um, until then, I hope you guys have a great Friday and a wonderful weekend. And uh, See you guys next week. Bye-bye.